Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Bomb has been diffused. What's up guys, Jordan Nothing Gilbert here from C9. I'm gonna be showing you right now a CT pistol on the map, Deep Mirage. All right guys, so for this CT pistol on Deep Mirage, it's gonna consist of a few things. One person buying a smoke kit, everyone else armor, but you're gonna be doing a stack heavy towards the B bomb site. So what you're gonna want is they have to smoke kit spotting window, somewhere long distance where he doesn't take a lot of damage early and he could just spot. He uses the smoke probably for a bomb to fuse later on in the round. The other three guys are gonna be at B. One's upper B plat, just spotting the halls to get an early information. One's boosted in the corner of the bomb site on the box, and one's off cat early to spot what they're doing, right? So the other guy is at A, and everyone's playing passive just to gather information. I'm gonna go in game now, and I'm gonna show you more about each player's role. All right, so on this CT pistol, the setup is gonna be three B, one mid, one A. This is what the A guy is gonna do. The A guy is gonna be focused on playing passive and basically staying alive. Since you have a P2K and you have distance, you can try to take a couple shots, but basically what you're gonna to wanna to do is play a spot like this. What this allows you to do is see smoke coming over, see palace, and see ramp. Your goal here is not to necessarily get kills, but to stay alive and call what the hit is. If you see a lot of people out of ramp, the first thing you need to say is, well, first of all, if you see smoke's over, you say that. But if you see a lot of people out of ramp, you gotta say, out A, out A, they could push connector. That's an important call because if your teammate's rotating over here or out window, he needs to know that there might be people in his face quick. After that, when you're holding spawn, like I said, your main goal is to stay alive. So if they all come out of ramp, you probably wanna to fall to the left and stay alive here and hold the palace and play a passive angle spawn, potentially even falling back all the way here so that they, they can't push you and kill you before your team gets to you and supports you. If you see him come out a palace heavy, the first thing you want to do is probably move to the right because you don't, if you fall back here, you're probably going to get tagged or die on the way back. So if you see him coming out palace, move to the right, hide here, try to stay alive, and you have to play moderately aggressive. If you turtle here, there's a chance they just walk up on you and kill you. So you just want to hide yourself from palace, maybe hold an angle like this, maybe peek in and out once you think they dropped, but in general, you're staying alive, CT spawn for the retake. The next player on the CT pistol here on Mirage is going to be a window player. He's going to grab a smoke and a kit, seeing as he has the most distance aside from the spawn guy to use these nades, and he can help either site quickly. So, you're going to be in the window room here, and you're going to be spotting early. What your main job is, is to obviously say if they can get up cat, and then potentially spot under pass for a little bit if nothing is seen. One thing you could do, which is very risky, but I don't necessarily recommend it, is you could jump out window, spot under pass, and hold for a little, and maybe push up cat push up mid, something like this to take info if you're really feeling like you know what the other team's doing. Other than that, your main goal is with your smoke and kit is gonna to be to fall to B and assist your team B with your nades. One good thing to do is save your smoke for the after plant and then try to defuse the bomb in the smoke as there's a lot of chaos happening. But first and foremost, help either site before they need it and don't overextend until your whole team is regrouping. This is a passive setup, so you wanna to be together. All right, so player three on the CT pistol is going to be out going off the catwalk. His job is to run to here and then start walking. What he's, he's going to be working with is the window guy, and in conjunction with that, he's going to be able to come here and spot the top middle. What this allows the window guy to do is jump out the window and hold underpass and put these guys in a hold where they have a lot of information at mid. So while they're holding here, one, one option is this guy could walk push middle or the underpass guy could walk push middle, and you could swap and watch either or. So you could watch underpass from here and have the guy push up middle, and then you could also watch back mid from here if, and push up yourself if he wants to watch underpass. Other than that, if your team calls B, you're going to want to fight from here, not get over aggressive, stay alive, and take shots from far so that, they, the, re, that the rest of the strategy that I'm going to show you can uh, be activated and you can get kills from the bomb site. All right, so player four here is going to be upper B, but first he's going to boost someone's site. So he's going to come this route, boost someone quickly in the site, and then jump spot really quick to make sure they're not rushing. And then if he wants, he could walk up and climb on the, the balcony right here just to get kind of aggressive. The reason I like playing on the balcony is because it's a pretty good shot here. One thing that's pretty good too is you could just play right here. So either or, you could test both in scrimmages. This spot's pretty good because generally the first guy runs around kind of flailing and he'll here and then he'll land. So it's kind of a tough shot if he does that for the guy in the back because so, he'll just start spamming his Glock. So this spot I feel like allows you to kill a guy at an odd angle first and then maybe drop off and bait him into your teammate who's boosted site. So your job here is not to fight out after that, it's to fall to the deepest part of the site, maybe take a shot here, but really just dance around these pillars in the back and focus on getting kills, staying alive, and calling the numbers that you see for your teammates to rotate. All right, so the fi final player on this pissed around for uh, CT Mirage is going to be in the B site. 
and he's boosted in the corner right here. His role is pretty straightforward. Once you're boosted in the site, you're hiding in this corner, letting everyone spot, and you're hoping they come B. If they come B, try to be as patient as possible. It's pretty straightforward. You might see guys around here, especially if your teammate in the corner of the site here dies quickly. Don't shoot at the first guy if it's not an easy, sh easy shot. Make sure it's an easy kill. And a lot of times, if you play this role right, you can get two to three frags and win the round for your team.